Hello guys, I am Berzenef, the evil sock puppet of doom, and today I am going to show you molybdomancy. <laughs> because it came to my attention that molybdomancy, also known as lead pouring or bleigießen in German, is not widely known outside German-speaking countries. Damn, and it's getting really warm in here. <laughs> but seriously, molybdomancy. How many of you know it? And more importantly, how many of you actually practice it? Usually we practice the dark art of molybdomancy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We don't take it too seriously. It's just a party game for us. And usually we do it around New Year's... Not around, but exactly on New Year's Eve. And basically, you need a candle and a molybdomancy kit like this. It's like a, a metal spoon and it's six or more or less um, hollow figurines made of lead. Now if you got real cool ones they all have some distinctive shapes like a, a mushroom or a pig or, or a dog or something like that. If you buy a cheap ass one like me the dog could also double as uh, some sort of koala bear and um, the pig looks like a more like a pig frog hybrid and this is how it works you put one of the lead figurines you put them on the spoon one at a time heat the spoon over the candle until the lead is molten and then you drop it into a bowl of cold water then you carefully take out the, the cool down hardened mess you produced out of the bowl and look at it and see what it resembles. And on the back side of such kits, the expensive ones have uh, actually little books or pamphlets, are things they might resemble, uh, contain things they might resemble. Like for instance, if the figurine you produce looks like a baby, it means your family will grow. Well, thanks for the news flash, Captain Obvious. Uh, let's do another one. If it looks like a ball, then you probably should do more sports. Are they trying to annoy me on purpose or something? Well, I think you get the idea. Enough theory, let's move on. Great, I'm gonna start with the strange pig frog hybrid. Now, this might take a while. It's starting to melt. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous and poisonous since it's lead and all? And now, quickly drop it into the bowl with cold water. And what on earth might that resemble? Hmm. Also, I remember when I was doing this as a little boy, the figurines were a lot bigger. I think I really should have bought a more expensive one. Now this time I've melted about three figurines together to get a decent outcome. Oh my god! And there go the last two figurines. Booyah! Okay, that's the one with the three molten figurines together. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's the size of one figurine of a more expensive molybdomancy kit. Of course, needless to say, since you you drop all of those in the bowl with the help of gravity they all kind of look the same so there's nothing much to it to interpret or something 
but mostly we don't do it because of interpretation afterwards we do it just for fun so you can enjoy the 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 noise it makes when it's rapidly cooled down in the water and stuff like that yeah. hmm. I can remember now why I didn't do molybdomancy for many years because it's really lame I mean what's that supposed to be it's like a weird alien head hello Mr. Giger it's one of your creations how about the last one it broke one part resembles um I mean come on it's exactly the same form like a bullet or something bullet bullet do we have bullet yeah we have bullet and it says you have to eat less honestly I'm not kidding you guys it's what it says on there I don't believe this it's like this this kit was especially made for me or something and the parts that broke apart are like some sort of uh, severed legs or or spears of some sort but of course the description doesn't mention any severed legs or spears hmm. well and that's about it already I haven't done this for many years now and I have to admit that in my memory it's a lot fancier and a lot more spectacular but I guess many things change once you've grown up